We have questions from our online students that are watching, inshaAllah, that you have questions related to sound, to hearing. It's very deep that for people to hear and try their best to meditate and contemplate on this subject so that you can go deeper into that understanding. And it is the secret of all spirituality, it's the secret of the last days and why the book of Sayyidina Isa salam was the Injil, it was a spoken book. And the reality of Holy Qur'an is a recited book, means these last books, two books from the last days are based on sound and that they're recited in qirats, in rhythms and sound vibrations for the protection of insan. So it's not a coincidence, there's no coincidences by this world, everything is in a design. So it's a have an immense importance, immense reality and the one whom can grasp the understanding of energy and sound then they can reach to these realities. And we described before these are stories of portals upon this earth. The earth is filled with portals. All of Holy Qur'an has many, many examples of portals. And these are manifestations of energies upon this earth in which are meant to move in space and time. And we're in the month of Ashab al-Kaf, the companions of a cave in which they entered a cave in the synopsis is it they thought it was a day or less and 309 years have trans, transpired. I mean in a blink of an eye they moved 309 years in time. And when they ran from an oppressor, when they came out of the cave they were loved by people. Nabi Musa salam walked in a desert, saw the fire of that teleportation or what we call that, that word? Portal. So the fire of the portal entered it, Allah describes, He entered into a space and told, take your shoes off, this is a Divinely Presence. It appeared, Allah made that portal to appear and Nabi Musa went into that, received what he wanted or what he needed to receive from the Divine and then was sent back. So Qur'an has many qissa, many examples. Sayyidina Zakariya went into the niche of Sayyidina Maryam salam and saw that this is a portal that's supplying sustenance not from this time, not from this season and could understand that this was extraordinary. At that time he made du'a within that portal and his du'a was accepted and Allah granted him Sayyidina Yahya salam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So, filled with Qur'an examples. Now when you see the shaitan trying to make these portals, by spinning what we said, this earth and our existence is a fabric of energy. They want to spin the atoms at a very high rate of speed, breaking something within the fabric. Our life is like a Adobe video, Adobe software. Anybody who's dealt with Adobe, you draw in layers. You draw something, you put a layer. You draw another layer, you put another layer. When you put all these layers together, we look like this, like we're one dimension. It's not one dimension, infinite dimensions within this space and time. There are other creatures standing and sitting here, living here above us, below us and all around us. It's all designed in layers. So they understood this layering and they begin to manipulate the energy. And when you manipulate the energy and now NASA is putting out videos on portals that they manipulate the energy 
to tear the fabric of this reality and move through it or summon something from it. Considering they're not ben benevolent people, they're most likely calling shaitans through it, the summonsing and all, <laughs> all of that industry was based on this practice. When they wanted to make rockets, they went out into the desert and summons, summons, summons. And when they summons, they is summons these ifrit that taught them how to make those rockets. And their whole science is based on that understanding. So their portals are designed for bringing very negative energies into this dimension. And Allah has that in Qur'an that there are portals and the strongest and most powerful of these portals are 125 124,000 awliyaullah upon this earth that their souls and the reality of their presence vibrate at a power of the soul. And as a result of their presence and being in the presence of their soul, the vibration in which they're emanating is creating a Divinely door. They don't have to tear anything, they don't have to make any device. It's by virtue of their soul and the presence and companionship of the soul. As a result of making and learning how to make the madad and to accompany that reality, that energy comes to be present. The energy of the soul and the power of the soul is not something that can be comprehended but because shaitan doesn't have that, he has to use power from the ifrit. So when Sayyidina Sulaiman was asking salam. Who can bring me the throne of Shiva? The Ifrit said, who were forced under command of Sayyidina Sulaiman we'll bring it, it takes time. But the one whom had Ahlul Kitab, the knowledge of the book, said, by the time you blink, you thought about it, he reproduced the entire throne of Shiva in his presence. Means the knowledge of the book was far more powerful than the energy of the Ifrit. So shaitan uses the reality of the ifrit and ar-Rahman uses knowledge of the kitab. So it means that the power of the kitab and these awliyaullah whom their souls resonate at this energy and these vibrations, as soon as people learn how to make their madad, their connection, the vibration of that soul is coming and begins to create for them an eternal portal something from paradise realities. And as soon as they met, met it and make their connection, their soul is making a soul-to-soul -soul connection and entering into a timeless reality. And that's why we described last night, Prophet described the one whom can make tafakkur versus the one who doesn't make tafakkur is like 70 years of worshipness. The one who enters into his tafakkur his one hour of contemplation is like 70 years of worshipness. Well, that was Einstein's theory that if you moved at the sp speed of light and came back, 60 years would have transpired. So immense, immense realities for us to think and contemplate that what Allah is, is granting of realities and are we able to dress ourselves from these realities to prepare for the difficulty that's always upon this earth and, and that's opening upon this earth inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago. Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.